one of the most frequent question that I get is Abhishek, I don't feel like doing it. How do I do it? I just don't feel like it. You know, I just don't feel like taking the book and studying. I just don't feel like going for practice or any of it. And it's so common that in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can motivate yourself into doing almost anything. Okay, with that said, let's begin. Hello guys, welcome to Book Ideas, where we tell you interesting ideas from interesting books. Now today's concept or today's uh, method that we'll be discussing comes from the book Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. Now we have covered this book's lot of these ideas in a lot more many videos. You can go click the link in description to check its playlist. Not only that, if you want to get this book, you can click the link in description and grab your copy. With that said, let's begin. Right, so how do you motivate yourself into doing anything? There are two primary things that you need to control. According to this book, two things that will help you. Number one is this. Control your inner dialogue. What is this inner dialogue? Sounds something fancy, right? It's not. Well, it's something simple, but it, it is something that has a lot of effect. Inner dialogue is, you hear your mind coming up with all these thoughts, that is your inner, inner dialogue. The discussion, the debates, the arguments and agreements that happens in your mind, in yourself. Now, whether you feel good about yourself or not, largely is determined by your inner dialogue. If you're sitting there and if your mind is going, if thoughts are going, I'm not good enough, I suck, I can't do it, I'm a loser. Do you think you'll feel good? Do you think you'll be like, yes, I can't do it, no way. No, that's not going to happen, right? But on the other hand, if your inner, di inner dialogue is like, you know what, I will do it. I'm so good at it. I deserve this. I know I can do it. I believe in myself. I believe in my ability. All of a sudden, something changes. You feel confident. You feel sure. You feel a lot more happy. So control your inner dialogue. And in fact, there's an amazing line for you, okay? Listen to this. So as so there's this person called Viktor Frankl who wrote the book Man's Search for Meaning. It's a very deep book. You can go check it out. He wrote something. He said, the last of the human freedom is to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances. The last of your freedom is to choose your attitude towards any circumstances. So Take this inner dialogue in your control. Remember this. Your inner dialogue that you try to fight against, fight against or don't try to fight against it. Remember that you are in control. All you have to do is change thoughts. And it won't work in the beginning. You have to do it repeatedly. You have to think something that will empower you. Empowering thoughts. Not just positive. Empowering. Like, like I can do it. I believe in my potential. I believe I'll figure this out. So keep telling yourself these kind of things and all of a sudden it becomes like a habit. Your negative thoughts decrease, your thoughts that disempower you decrease and the thoughts that empower you increases. Next, develop a positive mental attitude. In this book, Brian Tracy mentions Martin Seligman who did a 22 year study in the University of Pennsylvania. And he wrote a book called Learned Optimism. So in Learned Optimism, he makes, he says that be optimistic people do well in almost all any area of life. That's amazing, right? And he also said optimistic people also have four habits. Okay, four special habits. What are those? If you can apply this, this is something that you can build or create within yourself as well. First one is this. They look for good in every situation and they find it. Now, for those of you who know me, you might be telling, come on Abhishek, you don't really, you, you say positive thinking, you have to be very smart about it. This is not good. And you're right. This is not good if you stop here. But once you look for good, there are other steps, other habits. So remember this. First one is this. 
that you look for good in every situation ask yourself what is it about this situation that can help me what is good about this second they always seek valuable lesson in every setback or difficulty valuable lesson being a keyword if you come second in a race you can say you know what what's a good thing about this sure other person got to feel that victory next you can say valuable lesson could be you know what if i would have practiced harder i might be might have been able to do it so i'll have to work hard at it or what in me held me back from doing that maybe it's my skill my strength my stamina anything and then you can start working on that something that has value not just any lesson third optimists always look for the solution in every problem we all face problems in life right but the ones who go through it are the ones who sit down and say you know what how can i solve this they ask the question how they don't ask if i can solve it they ask how so ask yourself how ask yourself how can i solve this try to look for the solution instead of escaping the problem try to figure out how you can solve it fourth optimists think and talk continually about their goals if you are thinking and constantly talking about your goals something happens all of a sudden your thoughts are surrounded by your goals everything about your goal 90 to 80 to 90% of your thinking will be about your goal and the beautiful part about it is that your focus your focus improves you're focusing on your goal your distractions decreases why because and it happens very effortlessly because your mind just focuses on your goals you're talking a lot about it you're thinking a lot a lot about it anything you think or do a lot is something that will occupy your mind so all of a sudden you are able to effortlessly focus on your goals and effortlessly get rid of all these distractions so if you begin to build these four behaviors you will begin to develop a positive mental attitude this is very practical try it out this is something that you have to do repeatedly for a while if you start practicing this within a month you're going to be not even within a month within a week or two you'll begin to see small improvements within a month or two big improvements so that's it guys what was your favorite behavior what is something that you already have drop in the comments below and let me know with that said if you want us to pick out interesting ideas from interesting books drop your book recommendation but just make sure that it's non fiction okay just make sure that it's non fiction and it's something in self help or personal development space with that said thank you so much for watching this is abhishek signing off and i will see you in the next video goodbye